Hi guys, so I'm going to be filming my first Get Ready With Me video. I have an interview at 1.30. It's going on 12 right now, so I'm just going to do like my quick everyday makeup look for you guys to see. And then I'll do my hair afterwards. I'll post some pictures of everything done, but I'm not going to do my hair on camera because it just takes a little bit and there's not a good place to tape in my bathroom. But um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, but I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I already washed my face, so now I'm going to use the Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray to prime my whole face. And sorry, that's not why I normally tape, so I'm trying to find everything. Ooh, that sounds a little bit sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first I'm going to put on my Revlon Color Stay. It's just the worst thing about this is that it's not a pump. I know they have one that's a pump, but I don't know if the formula is any different. I can't remember. I think it's the photo ready one where this one is just the color stay. But I might have to look into getting that because I really hate that you have to pour this on your hand. And I've just got my mirror right here. And I don't know if I said that, but this is just my Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm just going to go ahead and use this to put my foundation everywhere. And I actually need just a little bit more. It's probably too much more, but... get this all the way. Blend it in, pop it out. I have this really big dry patch right on my nose right now, which I don't know where it came from because I haven't been like safe blowing my nose. So that's bothering me, but whatever. Um, and I'm sorry guys, it's too quiet. Like all I hear is Allie talking, so I've got to turn some music on. I'll turn it down though. Alright, so next I'm going to put some concealer on and I'm going to try my new LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Classic Ivory. Um, this looks kind of like a weird color on my skin. It's really pink. So we'll see how this works. But from what I remember, this is the lightest color that they make. And, yeah. I'm not sure. Because to me, this doesn't look like classic ivory, but that's okay. Should I probably put too much of this on, but it's all over that applicator. Because this is a good look. Sorry guys, I forgot to dampen my beauty blender. So since I moved everything in here, we're just going to go ahead and use my um, spray bottle. I'm just going to take this damp beauty blender and blend all this out. Going in upward motion to, you know, do that lift and brightening. And this actually blends out really, really easy. I see why people like this so much. Except I do have some, like, up here. Which does work if you um, want to use that as, like, an eye primer. Which I'm just going to go ahead and do since I do have some up here. Um, yeah, you can't see those big old baggies now, can you? Let's 
get our setting powder out. I still haven't went. I still haven't. Went, I still haven't gone to purchase the um, translucent setting powder. But I'm hoping maybe I can get that here soon. Maybe over the weekend or something. And then I'm just gonna take my Elf powder brush. It's just the flat top powder brush, which this is good for foundation. But my other one messed up really bad. It was broken, so um, I'm not gonna use it on foundation anymore. But then I'm just gonna powder my face. Just set all my foundation and that concealer. Which some of you might be worried that this will leave you with cake face. Um, it really shouldn't. This does not get cakey on me. I mean, I have a couple spots where I just have really big pores. And it's got more cover up so it looks a little bit cakey. But I don't really see it, to be completely honest. Um, it's mostly just... <laughs> Sorry, this underspot on my chin just feels really, really tacky right now. Normally I don't even powder this much, but I just really want to have all this set for this interview. I guess we'll set my uh, eyes too. Um, so I don't think I told you guys this, but my interview is actually at Ulta. Um, I also applied to Sephora, but this one is for Ulta, and I'm pretty excited because I've wanted to work there. I've wanted to. Um, Kind of get my toes wet, I guess you could say, in the um, makeup industry. I guess that's the easiest way to put it, that that's probably the fastest way you can get there. But, um, yeah, we'll figure it out as I go. But I really, I would kind of prefer to work at Sephora. I found out that they offer more things there than um, they actually offer at Ulta. But anyways, that part's not important. So let's do the rest of my face and get that out of the way. So I'm going to take my NYC Smith Face and Sunny and take my contouring brush from Real Techniques. Mm -hmm. See? On camera, it's still picking up really strong, but in my mirror, it's not picking up as strong. But it did its job, didn't it? My chubby face. First contour. I mean, it doesn't have, I don't have that really deep contour, but I don't think it looks bad. It's picking up a lot worse on camera than it is in real life. Out. Sorry, this is just not a good spot for my mirror because I can't really see. So for you guys, this looks really, really crazy. Like, oh my gosh, look at that contour. But like in my mirror, you can hardly tell that I've contoured. What do you think? Do I look like a work? No, because that would be crazy. Um, yeah, so this side looks really, really good. This side looks a little bit much. Which I don't know how that blends out better with my finger than this brush, but... Right, I'm gonna go over it with just that powder brush that I just set everything with to help up it out a little bit. I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put this so that I have 
bronzer in other places. But you want to be really light handed with this because a little bit of this goes a long way. You want to put just a little bit by your temples and on your forehead just to help it be more seamless. And then you want to put just a little bit under your chin, which I kind of want to get the new NYX blushes in um, the one that's in taupe. I saw Young Mom and Polish talking about how it's like the perfect contour color. And she's her skin type seems to be a little bit darker than mine, but this is more of an orangey highlight or an orangey um contour excuse me, an orangey contour where I kinda need that gray tone contour. I haven't gotten one yet because I haven't found the right one for me. But that's okay. Alright, so my contouring is done. Sorry, I know I like keep stopping. I just need to listen to music because Yeah. I can't with the quiet. So let me find my song because I can't play a song off my laptop and I haven't updated my phone recently. So this is just like a little tangent that I have to go off on right here. But. Okay. So let me take these face brushes out of my way because I can't really see what I need to get to face wise. Oh, highlighter. I'm going to use my Baked Blush in Pinktastic, and I'm going to go right through here with it. Yeah, but I just use my finger for this. It's the best color payoff, and when I was using a brush, I noticed it kind of broke up the, um, that's why it has those dark spots. This has just a little bit of a pink to it, too. But I like a really intense highlight, which is probably because I watch Kathleen Lights. That that's why I like that really intense, like bam, I'm shiny, I'm glowing, beautiful highlight. But I kind of look sweaty on this angle, but. Um, I only put a little bit on my nose because I don't like to bring a lot of definition to my nose. But just a little bit. And I said when right in my T-zone I have a little zit this morning, so we'll see. Hopefully my makeup's not too much. On the camera it's not really picking up, it's like crazy, but when I left my room, when I taped in here the one day that I was having issues taping in here, um, when I got back to my actual bedroom, where I have, like, my natural lighting, oh my lord, it was like, I looked like the old-time Jersey Shore Snooki on my face, which, don't get me wrong, I love Snooki, I'm just saying, that's what I looked like. Alright, let's do eyes. I don't even have an idea for what I want to do for eyes, but yeah, this is what I keep all my products in, so, this is a hot mess right now. Um... We're actually just going to do some clear brow gel today. I thought about doing a little bit of tinted brow gel, but we're just going to do clear today. Alright, so for me, all I do is I go over them with a spoolie. Which, I've got pretty decent shape as it is in my brows. Um, I don't need to do a whole lot with them. Um, one of them is okay, just I don't know. more of like a point and then curve, or this is more like just a general curve. But this one also has a little bald spot, so I don't do much for my brows. I just do clear brow gel now, for right now, because I want to go back to this hair color, so I don't want to mess with them too much. And this was just my e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel. And I'm not even going to fill in my little bald spots that are in here. We're just going to put this on. There we go. Okay, 
so brows are done. Just a little brow gel makes all the difference. Because um, I really wasn't into brows at all before I started doing makeup and things like that. Okay, so... Try to dry those suckers off. And then... We're going to take my Makeup Geek Shadows and I'm going to do um, Purely Naked for right now. to Just to do that right in the crease to buff it a little bit. So I was looking for one a little bit softer than my other one because that'll give me a really intense color payoff but I don't really want anything really intense just to have as a transition color. Which this still came off pretty intense, but... Um, that's all we're going to use from that for right now, just to like fully decide, because I haven't fully decided what I was going to do today, and I kind of want to do like that red eye that I've been doing, that's just like a cranberry reddish eye. Oh, this Morphe palette is like the death of me, I cannot ever get this thing open. I really just want to depop all of these, but at the same time, do I want to have one that doesn't say it's a Jack and Hill palette? No. But seriously, I can never get this thing open. Okay, I just had to use tweezers to open it. What does that tell you? Sorry, let me fix this. I put those back in. That'll drive me crazy. All right, too late. I already dropped it there. All right, so hmm, maybe I'll do just like a little bit of a smoky eye, but I'm just gonna do like neutral tones. So I'm gonna use. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna use this color from the oh that's nice from the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe or collaboration with her and Morphe. It's just like a a goldy dark brown, and we're just gonna put that back here. Sorry, I have to have my mouth open. Like, I don't know why, but that's exactly just how it has to happen. You might hear my mom and Allie. They're out there playing while I'm getting ready. Because they're silly. And this actually has a lot of fallout. Yeah, this is not going to be as extreme, but while I've got it on there, I want to go ahead and get the most color payoff from what's already on my brush. This eye is like impossible for me to do the exact same as the other eye. But that's okay. Alright, so I know I look really crazy right now, but you can already tell just with that transition color and this at the end, it already looks like it really could be a complete look if I wanted to look crazy. But I don't I wanna look professional and like I have some sense. Alright, so since I did that, um, I already know I'm going to finish up with Shimmer Shimmer. I guess I should just warn you that now because that is my baby. I love Shimmer Shimmer. But I think I'm going to go in with this goldy color right here. And yeah, I just wipe off my brush. I kind of wipe it up here a lot of the time for any like excess color. I don't usually get a lot of excess color, but that's okay. I'm just going to pack this gold color on the lid towards uh, that darker color. And it's actually just making, it makes a really pretty like mix of the two, which looks really, really good. If I say so myself, you know, like, no shit, so. You don't look crazy. But, anyways, what's going on with you guys? I hope that everyone's good and is gonna have a great valentine's day this will be the first time in almost four years that i haven't had a valentine actually this will be the first time in four years that i have not had a valentine that's crazy but that's okay technically i will still be yeah we're going to georgia for um the holiday now not necessarily for the holiday but 
excuse me, for the weekend to see my mother-in-law and so Allie can see her and everything. Which I thought I was going to use this palette. Hold on. Oh yeah, I'm going to use the other colors at the end. That's what it was. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks much different in person. I really need to get a high def camera. But um, it's just the darker color out here with a golden color inside. I guess it doesn't look that bad. But um, I'm going to finish off with Shimmer Shimmer, which is just this color right here. It's my favorite, so. I don't know what time it is, but I know I need to go take my medicine soon, shit. Alright, so we're gonna pack this all over the lid. Not all over the lid, but in this front V, I guess you could call it. I have a little bit of messed up spots. I don't know how this happens, but I always get eyeshadow right here on the inside of my nose. Which is a really obnoxious spot to get it because it's kind of hard to get off at the same time. And I'm just going to take one more little spot of it just because I have a dark spot right there to buff that out a little bit. Now, if I just left this like this, I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, I could deal with this because I'm actually going to put, I might actually even put lashes on today. I don't know. Oh yeah, because I want to put lashes on so I can see if I can wear them tomorrow night for Yanni's birthday. Because I was not able to wear them for my birthday, which my birthday was a bust anyways. But, we don't even need to go there. But, yeah. Okay. So, that's just a little bit. Excuse me, I can't see. So, that's just what the eye looks like right now. It's a beautiful, like, gradient ombre. It looks really, really pretty, to be honest with you. Um, I'm still going to go in with that Kardashian Collection Fantasy. But, I forgot to get um or to do my lower lash line with the morphe set so let me just get my pencil brush real quick and buff that out and then i'm going to clean up everything so i'm just going to do a mix of that first one and the gold one and buff out the lower lash line sorry i had to find some place to put that But I only do this through like half the eye or half the lower lash line. Hold on. Um. Okay, so now that that phone call's done, um, I just buff that out to the middle of like right here, I think. It's right there. Yeah. I can't really see because it's hard to see all the way to the camera. Which actually, I wonder if there's a way for me to zoom in. I don't think that there is. But. This is what it looks like. And I did just buff out the lower lash line. I will definitely put mascara on the back, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to use this color, this like flesh tone color right here in the Lorac Summer Glow palette. And I'm going to just clean up these edges and make it so it's not like, damn. But I don't mind this little crazy wing look that I've got going today. If I was going to do a wing liner, which I would, but I have a lot of problems with doing that, so probably not. But see, just taking that little bit and it just kind of buffs everything out. Other than that, normally I would blend like during, I like blend everything out, but it actually just came together really seamlessly today, so. Sorry, I guess I should be looking at you guys. Let's see. I just cleared that all up. But there's still that pop of darkness in the lower or in the outer V. Which, this side just needs a little bit more. So I'm just going to take this blending brush and just be like, pop that in. And this side needs just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not much, so. There we go. See, that just darkens it up just a little bit, and boom. The eyes look really good. I haven't done a neutral smoky yet because I just haven't played around with this palette that often. So, I'm going to play around with it tonight so I can figure out tomorrow because I'm already going to tell you if I can get a good one, I'm going to do a purple smoky eye for tomorrow because I'm wearing an all black dress with probably an all black jacket and a black and white um, purse. So... In black shoes. 
so I want to have that pop of color and I'm definitely going to do it on my eyes or lips so if I can't figure out the right color we'll do pretty eyes and pretty lips but I have quite a bit of purple so I really want to do a purple <clears throat> sorry I keep wiping these things off I had foundation stuck to the back of my arm which you can kind of tell but now it's all over this blanket that's on my lips whoops but okay so um, what do I need to do next so I was debating on falsies or not I think I decided I'm not going to do falsies I will practice with falsies tonight and see how bad they irritate my eyes but I don't think I can get them on today so we'll, we'll go with that Sorry, I'm cleaning now. Like, I really need to clean for whatever else I have left to do. But, alright. Which, I'm gonna be honest, this time I didn't do it, but sometimes I just put this in my bra, like they say, that you can, like, hair dry it and things like that, but I don't need a hair dryer today. My hair is just up till I go and curl it in a little bit. But, yeah. Which, I'm sorry for anybody who watched or who was waiting on the makeup collection video one I don't understand how it ended up so long probably because I just did like a first impression of every single thing that I own or kind of let you know what I think of every single thing that I own which is good and bad I guess but that was an hour long video and it took um let's see I think I started uploading it at like 9 or 10 I think maybe it's even earlier than that and it was not done till 4 a.m. this morning so yeah this should be much shorter. Hoping I can get this down to like 15 minutes. Right now it's at a half hour, but I have to cut out like that phone call and stuff. So, we'll see. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do what I did the other day and use the Smoky Extravagant first and then Too Faced and then do Lights, Camera, Lashes on the lower lash line, which I'm gonna warn you right now. I make crazy faces, so I'm just gonna turn on music right now and you guys can't judge me. Um,. I guess we are just going to listen to Nicki Minaj again, because it's been a Nicki Minaj, like, I just love Nicki Minaj, but since the Pink Break came out, I'm like a whole nother Nicki Minaj lover. Okay. Which, I will say this, this is very good at getting your lashes apart. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but... You probably can't, but my lashes are like all the way separated on this side. really hoping that I like this um, pro concealer because we'll find out today if it's really something that I like or not um, they don't sell it literally anywhere here in Cincinnati which is really a pain in the butt I mean they sell LA girl um, like nail polish and stuff at Rite Aid but the closest Rite Aid is like 20 or 30 minutes so I'd rather go to one when I'm closer so I find them in other places, but I don't find here. Okay, so this kind of looks like I have winged liner on. I just want to make sure I tell you guys, I do not have any liner on at all. That's just my lashes. That's how good this mascara is, but I'm going to try to let this dry a second so I can um, curl my lashes again, which yes, I know you really shouldn't do, but as long as you're careful, you can get away with it because your lashes will be live. Bam! Just like that. All right, my lashes look really good, so I really don't want to mess them up. See? Um, if you guys want me to do any vlogs, I've been thinking about maybe doing just a couple here or there. Um, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are, but, like, every week me and Allie go out to, like, uh, Target or Walmart on Wednesday night just to, like, walk around and stuff. 
while Jake's doing whatever right there in the same area. Um, but if you guys are interested in just getting a vlog, and like this weekend when we're going to Georgia, I could vlog with you as well. Um, just let me know. Because you can kind of see the everyday craziness of my life. Oh yeah, so I don't think I said that, but now I'm coming or I'm going over this with um, better than sex lashes. This is just a travel size, which I still I'm gonna do one more coat of this, but I did this first, and I'll use the full size for the other one. Cause this is the only reason I didn't like this size is because the wand is like such a pain in the butt for me to hold because I've got fat little fingers. And I want to get like all the way in here. But while that one is drying, that coat. See, this is why I don't really know about falsies because I really like my lashes. But we're gonna go in with lights, camera, lash, and I didn't do my inner eye highlights, so I need to do that. You know, it doesn't look like it's like dark there or anything, but I'm still gonna go in with Fantasy, the uh, Kardashian Beauty Light Stroke in the color Fantasy. Huh. I'm going to do that before I do my lower lash line. Just give me one second. Put some inner eye highlight there. Now I'm going to cover it up. Or not cover it up. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to put um, mascara on my lower lashes using Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. And I'm sorry, but this is going to be a really weird angle. Because I have to be able to see to do this. Mascara and my contact, which at least I have all the mascaras. It's a Tarte one, so it doesn't bother me. Um, the one drugstore one, um, the Maybelline ones, actually. If I get those in my eye or in my contacts, I have to take my contacts all the way out because it hurts so bad in my eyes. They just sting like crazy. But sorry, I just need to see what I look like. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to do one more layer of mascara and then I should be good to go. Well, then I can put some finishing spray on. But I'm going to also go in my light because it looks like I might be crazy bronzed. I can't tell because like in this I look pale still. Struggle with bad camera. Alright, so we're just going to do this one more time. So this is the full size by the sex, so I'm going to go with this and just cover that up. And I don't know what I'm going to do for lips. And part of me wants to wait to do lips till after I do my hair. But it's not going to make a difference in that retrospect because I'm just crazy. But I will go ahead and do it for you on camera. I just don't know what color I'm going to do. Because I kind of want to do a pale pink, but I kind of want to do just a nude. I need a pink just a little bit darker than what I have that matches my lips perfect because they look like a really light pink today and they're really not normally this light pink so yeah 
I think I'm going to use Zurich, my Zurich um, Soft Matte Lip Cream by Miss. But that's the end of eyes and face. I just have to do my lips. Yeah, ignore this. I have really short hair. I don't know if you saw that in the last video. But that's why the bun is like my baby. I love to have a bun. But I was debating between this, but they don't even sell that at um, Ulta. So I'm going to go in with um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Zurich. Which is like a really pretty pinky nude. Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm blind. This is a little more pink than I necessarily need it to be for my lips today, but... It will look good and pretty natural for this look. So, I just get this on. I just have to put one more layer on. And then I will be done. And this is the look for today. So, bye guys.